Black Sea Bass a la Poulette. Prepare a poulette sauce and pour over the black sea bass boiled according to directions previously given. Cold Bass with Tartar Sauce Boil the fish in court bouillon and drain. Chop fine parsley, pickles, olives, and capers. Mix with a stiff mayonnaise and spread over the fish. Serve with a border of sliced cucumbers. Broiled Bass Clean the fish, split it, and cut each half into two or three pieces. Dip in oil or melted butter, sprinkle with flour, and broil carefully. Broiled Black Bass Clean and split the fish, remove the bone, rub with melted butter or oil, and broil carefully. Pour over a little melted butter, and garnish with lemon and parsley. Bass Stewed with Tomatoes Clean the fish, remove the bones, and cut into square pieces. Fry two sliced onions in olive oil. Lay the fish upon it, season with salt and pepper, and pour over a can of tomatoes, which have been rubbed through a sieve. Season with salt and pepper, cover closely, and cook for an hour. Serve in the same dish. Fried Bass with Bacon Clean and cut up the fish, season with pepper and salt, roll in flour, and fry in hot lard. Serve with rashers of bacon fried separately. Garnish with parsley and lemon. Fried Black Bass Scale, clean, and cut up the fish. Season with salt and pepper, dredge with flour, and fry in deep fat. Breaded Filet of Bass Clean the fish and cut into convenient pieces. Season with salt and pepper, dip in beaten egg, then in crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Serve very hot with tartar sauce. Breaded Bass with Bacon Clean the fish and cut into pieces. Season with pepper and salt, roll in flour, then in beaten egg, then in breadcrumbs. Fry in deep fat and serve with a border of rashers of bacon fried separately. Garnish with parsley. Broiled Sea Bass with Parsley Sauce Put two medium-sized cleaned sea bass into a fish kettle with a bunch of parsley. Cover with salted and acidulated water, bring to the boil. Simmer for half an hour, drain, garnish with lemon and parsley, and serve with a parsley sauce. Fried Sea Bass with Tartar Sauce Clean and wipe small sea bass, score the sides deeply, dip in milk, roll in flour, fry in deep fat, drain, sprinkle with salt, and garnish with quartered lemons and fried parsley. Serve with tartar sauce. Matelote of Sea Bass Clean three pounds of sea bass and cut in convenient pieces for serving. Put into a saucepan with a bunch of parsley, salt and pepper to season, and a teaspoonful of sweet herbs. Add two onions sliced and two cloves of garlic. Cover with equal parts of stock and claret and simmer slowly until the fish is done. Move the fish carefully to a serving dish and strain the liquid into another saucepan. Brown two tablespoonfuls of flour in as much butter as is required to make a smooth paste. Add the liquid and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add to the sauce three tablespoonfuls of essence of anchovy and some mushrooms and small button onions fried brown in butter. Pour over the fish and serve. Broiled Sea Bass Select a large fish, clean and split. Season with salt and pepper. Rub with olive oil and broil carefully. Serve with maitre d'hotel sauce and garnish with lemon and parsley. Sea Bass a la Buena Vista Prepare and clean a large sea bass. Cut a long, deep incision lengthwise on each side. Place in a buttered baking dish with a chopped onion, a bunch of parsley, a pinch of sweet herbs, half a can of tomatoes, and a small green pepper shredded. Sprinkle with salt and pepper, add two cupfuls of stock, and one cupful of port wine. Dot with butter and bake in a moderate oven for 40 minutes, basting freely. Take up the fish and strain the sauce. Melt a tablespoonful of butter, brown in it a tablespoonful of flour, Add two cupfuls of well-seasoned beef stock and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Combine these two sauces, cover the fish with broiled tomatoes, pour the sauce over, sprinkle with parsley and lemon juice, and serve. Boiled Sea Bass with Melted Butter Sauce 
Boil the fish in acidulated water according to directions previously given. Drain, garnish with parsley, and serve with a sauce made by melting half a cupful of butter with the juice of a lemon and seasoning with white pepper and a little grated nutmeg. Sea Bass a la Francais Clean and trim two large sea bass. Put into a saucepan with salt and pepper to season, three tablespoonfuls of butter, two large onions sliced, a bunch of parsley, and enough claret to cover the fish. Simmer for forty minutes, drain, and place on a serving dish. Take out the parsley and keep the liquid warm. Brown two tablespoonfuls of flour in two tablespoonfuls of butter, add the onions and liquid and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add stock or water if there is not enough liquid. Add a tablespoonful each of melted butter and minced parsley, pour over the fish, and serve. Sea Bass with Black Butter Boil medium-sized sea bass in salted and acidulated water, drain, and marinate with salt, pepper, and vinegar. Brown a cupful of butter in a saucepan, skim, pour the top part over the fish, leaving the sediment in the pan. Garnish with fried parsley, and serve. Striped Bass with Shad Roe Clean a four-pound striped bass and soak the soft rows of four shad in cold water. Put the bass into a fish kettle with an onion, salt and pepper to season, a small bunch of parsley, a tablespoonful of butter, two wine glassfuls of white wine, and enough white stock to cover. Cover, cook for half an hour or more, basting as required, and drain. Strain the liquid and add it to a tablespoonful each of butter and flour cooked together. Cook until it thickens, stirring constantly. Add the juice of a lemon and two tablespoonfuls of butter. Cook the rose for five minutes in salted and acidulated water, drain, cut in two, and arrange around the fish. Pour the sauce over, sprinkle with minced parsley, and serve. Fillets of Striped Bass a la Bordelaise Clean two striped bass and cut into fillets. Cover the trimmings with water, add one cupful of white wine, two cupfuls of white stock, a sliced onion, a bay leaf, a sprig of thyme, a tablespoonful of butter, and salt and pepper to season. Skin the fillets, season with salt, and marinate for half an hour in oil and lemon juice. Drain, sprinkle with flour, dip in egg yolks beaten smooth with a little melted butter, then in crumbs. Broil carefully, basting with melted butter as required. Fry a tablespoonful of chopped onion in two tablespoonfuls of flour and cook to a smooth paste. Add the liquid strained from the fish trimmings and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add half a cupful of stewed and strained tomato, a tablespoonful of minced parsley, and two tablespoonfuls of butter. Season with red pepper and lemon juice, pour over the fish, and serve. Fillets of Striped Bass a la Manhattan Clean and trim a four-pound bass, skin, remove the bones, and chop very fine. Add four tablespoonfuls of butter, season with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg, and enough cream to make a stiff paste. Shape into cutlets, dip in egg and crumbs, and fry in deep fat or sauté in clarified butter. Drain and serve with tomato sauce. Striped Bass with Caper Sauce Clean and trim a large striped bass. Cut two incisions across the back, tie in a circle, and boil slowly in salted and acidulated water for 40 minutes. Drain, pour over a caper sauce, garnish with parsley, and serve. Striped Bass a la Dauphine Clean and trim a striped bass. Put into a fish kettle with salt, pepper, a bunch of parsley, a pinch of sweet herbs, a sliced onion, two cupfuls of white wine, two cupfuls of water, and four tablespoonfuls of butter. Cook for 40 minutes in a moderate oven, basting frequently. Drain the fish, strain the liquor, and add enough white stock or oyster liquor to make the required quantity of sauce. Cook two tablespoonfuls of flour in one tablespoonful of butter, add the liquid, and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add three egg yolks well beaten with four tablespoonfuls of butter, a tablespoonful of anchovy essence, the juice of half a lemon, and a pinch of paprika. Bring to the boiling point, pour over the fish, and serve. Garnish with fried mushrooms. Striped Bass a la Cardinal Clean and trim a striped bass. 
Cook in a fish kettle with two cupfuls of water, one cupful of white wine, four tablespoonfuls of butter, a bunch of parsley, an onion, a carrot sliced, and salt and pepper to season. Simmer for forty minutes and drain. Add two cupfuls of white stock to the liquid, strain, and skim off the fat. Cook two tablespoonfuls of flour in a tablespoonful of butter. Add the strained liquid and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire and add the yolks of four eggs beaten with the juice of a lemon, four tablespoonfuls of melted butter, and a pinch of paprika. Bring to the boil, then take from the fire, add sufficient dried and pounded lobster coral to color, pour over the fish, and serve.